There are very few nights in African football to cherish. And one of them is when you look back and see exactly what happened in the same venue and come back to make a, not only a mark, but also to lay the marker for those uh, who really want to see the best of the game. Tonight is a beautiful night for all those who over time have believed in the strength of uh, the Super Eagles, but for quite a while have not been able to see exactly what they can do. Yeah, they had the game in control for the first half, scored a goal that was uh, disallowed by VAR, yes, it was uh, offside, and then scored another goal from a workman-like effort by uh, Victor Sime and Lukman, and then we went into the uh, uh, break, that's half time, coming back to really uh, show again their class. Sometimes class can be permanent, form temporal, but here you saw the effervescent nature of the Super Eagles. And uh, Alexi Wobi was, uh, was really, really in the mood today. Uh, he had uh, a control of that middle, picking all the loose balls and really uh, setting the attack on. Lukman, man of the match, no doubt about it. You have to praise his diligence. You have to also recognize uh, his effort at marksmanship. But on the whole, uh, we have a team that is emerging. We hope uh, this team will not find distractions to uh, get them where it matters. And that is the last four of this competition. Now they've exercised uh, perhaps uh, the pain that happened when uh, the Super Eagles, then known as the Green Eagles, lost in this particular stadium, the Felix Super Bayou Stadium, just at uh, the background here. And uh, that was 40 years ago. Tonight, we can get to think that uh, everything will be good when the Super Eagles take on the Angolans. There will be more. This is Mitchell, will be point of the day in a very warm night in Abidjan.